SafeMoon is one of the newest and fastest growing cryptocurrencies, even in a market that had seen Bitcoin and Ethereum reach record high values in recent months. Hey there, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be talking about SafeMoon crypto, and we're going to discuss what SafeMoon protocol is, along with other cryptos. Before we proceed, though, if you're new to this channel, then please do subscribe and click on the bell icon for regular updates. Now, on to the video. SafeMoon is an altcoin that is a blockchain-based digital currency that is broadly similar to Bitcoin, but with some clear distinction as well. This quote-unquote getting to the moon phase was introduced with Dogecoin, and now SafeMoon also follows it. SafeMoon was launched in March of 2021 and was a decentralized finance coin that is similar to other cryptos like Bitcoin and aims to fix the price volatility issues, unlike other currencies. It launched in March of 2021 and has already racked up well over a million users. SafeMoon's unique feature is that it charges a 10% fee to anyone who sells their tokens. 5% of that fee is then redistributed to all other SafeMoon owners, essentially rewarding those who hang on to their tokens and de-incentivizing selling. One criticism of cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin is how they have strayed from their original goal of providing a functional decentralized currency to become investable commodities. Simply, it's just not clear what, if anything, you'll actually be able to buy with SafeMoon. But the selling fee is at least encouraging owners to not just buy and sell their tokens for now. Even so, SafeMoon is a most unusual digital currency as it imposes a penalty on anyone who tries to trade their tokens. Only a few months ago, its sheer newness also might have led some potential crypto buyers to see if it was an unknown quantity. SafeMoon exists on the blockchain and does not leverage any financial institutions or any exchanges as intermediaries. Rather, it aims to promote peer-to-peer -peer exchange and has a total supply of one quadrillion tokens as per the white paper released. Their fair launch supply was 777 trillion tokens and 223 trillion is the amount of burn dev tokens. SafeMoon is led by John Caroni, CEO, who was an all-source analyst for the U.S. Department of Defense. Thomas Smith is the CTO, who previously served as the CIO of Goldsmith Blockchain Consulting. Its creators state that they want to fix some of the problems, like price volatility, that is common in other digital coins. So as to do this, SafeMoon aims to discourage day trading of its coin and to reward long-term holders by charging a 10% fee on every sale. Half of these fees collected are earmarked for existing coin owners who receive a sort of dividend in the form of additional coins. Quote, The goal here is to prevent the larger dips when whales decide to sell their tokens later in the game, which keep the price from fluctuating as much, SafeMoon said in expanding its currency, using the term for investors who held large amounts of digital coins. SafeMoon also states that it opts for manual burns versus continuous burns, which is when digital coins are purposefully removed from circulation. Manual burns, according to the creators, gives SafeMoon more control over the coin's supply. Less supply with increasing demand wouldn't help to increase the coin's price. So, how does SafeMoon work? Well, SafeMoon employs a protocol in which they discourage day trading of their coins to fix the price volatility issue. SafeMoon had announced a rewarding process for the long-term holders of the coin. A 10% penalty tax fee will hit those selling the coins on the transactions, and 5% of those penalty transaction fees will end up being redistributed to the current token holders. This protocol is put in place so as to limit of the selling of tokens and instead encourage its holdings. The process will make the traders think before they sell the tokens, and it does give added advantage to the existing coin owners. This method aims to reduce the sudden declines caused by the sale of cryptos that ended up leading to fluctuating prices and market collapse. The official website of SafeMoon says, quote, holders can earn passive rewards through static reflection as they watch their balance of SafeMoon grow indefinitely. The static RFI rewards make this cryptocurrency unique from others, as it employs a manual burn strategy rather than digital burns so as to control the supply and enable a rewarding and beneficial burn strategy to the long-term holders and achievers. A common misconception with the heavy APY average is the subjectivity of the impermanent loss from staking an LP or liquidity provider in a farming reward generator. 
With the explosion of DeFi, we've seen far too many cryptocurrency prospectors get sucked into a high APY LP farming trap, feeling hopeless as earlier buyers with higher staking rewards end up pushing them out. We've all been there. Seeing those shiny six figures can be pretty damn tempting to jump in on. However, almost always, the token suffers from inevitable valuation bubbles, which can then be followed by the burst and the impending collapse of the price. This is why we've seen the mass adoption of static rewards, also known as reflection, which is a separate concept that seeks to eliminate the troubles caused by farming rewards. This is the SafeMoon protocol. Static rewards do solve a host of problems. Firstly, the reward amount is conditional upon the volume of the token being traded. This mechanism aims to alleviate some of the downward sell pressure put on the token caused by earlier adopters selling their tokens after farming crazy high APYs. Secondly, the reflecting mechanism encourages holders to hang on to their tokens so as to garner higher kickbacks which are based upon percentages carried out and dependent upon the total tokens held by the owner. However, there are chances for manual burns. Sometimes manual burns do matter and sometimes they don't. A continuous burn on anyone's protocol can be excellent in the early days. However, this does mean that the burn itself cannot be finite or controlled in any way. Having burns controlled by the team and promoted based on achievements helps to keep the community rewarded and informed. The conditions of manual burning and the amounts can be advertised and tracked. SafeMoon aims to implement a burn strategy that is beneficial and rewarding to those engaged for the long term. Furthermore, the total number of SafeMoon burned is featured on our readout located on the website, which does allow for further transparency and being able to identify the current circulating supply at any given point in time. Now, let's delve a little bit into about automatic liquidity pools. Automatic LP is the secret sauce of SafeMoon. Here, we have a function that acts as a two-fold beneficial implementation for holders. Firstly, the contract sucks up tokens from buyers and sellers alike, and then adds them to the LP, creating a solid price floor. Secondly, the penalty acts as an arbitrage-resistant mechanism that secures the volume of SafeMoon as a reward for the holders. In theory, the added LP creates stability from the supplied LP by adding the tax to the overall liquidity of the token thus increasing the token's overall LP and supporting the price floor of the token. This is far different from the burn function of other reflection tokens, which is only beneficial in the short term from the granted reduction of supply. As the SafeMoon token LP increases, the price stability mirrors the function with the benefit of a solid price floor and cushion for holders. The goal here is to prevent the more significant dips whenever whales do decide to sell their tokens later in the game, which helps to keep the price from fluctuating as much as if there was no automatic LP function. All of this is an effort to alleviate some of the troubles which we have seen with the current DeFi reflection tokens. We're confident that this model and protocol will prevail over the outdated reflection tokens for these reasons. So what makes SafeMoon so unique? The SafeMoon white paper notes that a big problem in the emerging DeFi industry is the existence of high APYLP farms that don't have easy access for newcomers to the space. But with SafeMoon, they aim to use the idea of static rewards, making the reward conditional upon the volume of the token being traded, in order to remove any pressure on the token that could occur whenever tokens are sold. Also, the white paper notes that their quote, reflect mechanism adds incentivizations for SafeMoon holders to be able to keep their tokens for longer or hold. SafeMoon's automatic LP even adds stability to the protocol by helping to provide a price floor or cushion for token holders. SafeMoon's manual burn strategy also helps SafeMoon token holders in the long term, according to their white paper. The SafeMoon white paper has the following plan for the safety of the protocol. The developer burns all tokens in the dev wallet before launch. There was a fair launch on DX sale. The LP is locked on DX locker for four years. And an LP is generated with every trade and locked on PancakeSwap. So with that, we've come to the end of today's video. What do you think about SafeMoon? Tell us your thoughts in the comment section down below. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more content just like this and ding that notification bell so you're always kept up to date on the latest crypto news. Until next time, folks, we'll see you later.